I'm just gonna keep my troops right here perfectly protected because they, they'll be fine they don't need me so here we are again reforming the dream team of memes no spoilers but this collab goes i think a lot better than the last one hey guys and uh, welcome back to that doesn't sound very enthusiastic hey guys oh, and welcome God. back to hearts 5 and 4 i'm joined with alex the rambler drew's an lk and isara <laughs> productions say hi isara hi and today we're going to be playing in the balkans and hopefully, Germany doesn't kill us. Pretty sure I'll be able to carry us again, so. I think you've got it covered, Drew, honestly. Yeah. I think we're just going to leave like everything to you. Me and Drew, uh, me and Alex will just build planes. Yeah. yeah, all right, let's so, do that. I'm playing as Romania, ISP's Hungary, and Drew's Yugoslavia. So anyway, we'll probably check in with each other at later points, but I think we're, uh, we're good to go, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, let's do All this. Right. So obviously, I am fully prepared to get absolutely raped by both Hitler and Mussolini, but I'm definitely going to enjoy it. I don't know if you guys could tell, but in our previous collab series, as Luxembourg, I didn't do anything. I know, that's kind of a shocker, but I just kind of sat here and watched the other two play. But this is going to be a little bit scarier now, because I am obviously on the front lines. The plan is to go fascist, but not join the Axis. So that's gonna make things real nice. The guys apparently want me to build land forts in the north because Mussolini is gonna be a big problem. Oh, well, we actually probably don't need 10, but then again, what the fuck else am I gonna do? Because my military skills are probably not gonna help us much. I'm surprised to find out I actually do have some boats here. I'm sure this fleet will totally be enough in the Mediterranean. We don't need any more. Wait, what the fuck? What is going on here? Why... Why is political power more than usual? All right, well, either way, fascism is starting to grow, right? Okay, there it goes. Oh, it looks like Alex is trying to be flexible. He must know all about the weird sexual positions I like. The Spanish Civil War is here once again, and we want to root for Franco. Last time, I don't think he ended up joining our side, but maybe we can change that. Oh, shit. Otto assumes the Hungarian crown. You know what that means. The Habsburgs are about to somehow gain leadership in every country in Europe. All right, well, it's time to start a preemptive naval blockade of the Italian peninsula because I'm sure this will work. Our six boats are going to do great because uh, apparently they can even move on land. Oh, well, that's exciting. Austria has voted to unite with Hungary. The empire's power vacuum may yet be filled. I've actually never seen this before because uh, the AI is so horrible. But damn, that is pretty good looking. So we've actually got some pretty cool focus trees as Yugoslavia. I don't know what I should do here because we're going to go fascist. So we're not going to join the allies, but I also don't want to be Mussolini's bitch. King Carl II abdicates. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I guess he left the throne or something. Oh, and he's leaving to Mexico to sell some drugs. That's always fun. So Romania and Alex have already gone fascist. So once again, I am trailing far behind. I mean, we're getting there. We're at 30% popularity. That's a start. Oh, okay, that's better. I was worried he was going to remain the Kingdom of Hungary after he annexed all of Austria. All right, well, luckily I didn't forget to uh, train all my soldiers this time. So that's already better than the last collab. Oh my god. Czechoslovakia. What has happened well thank god either way because i was afraid i was going to be on the front lines now i don't have to be anymore well that's not true kind of i i will still a little bit i mean it's not like alex has nothing to worry about either there's uh definitely somebody that's ready to do some very bad things to him so isp thinks germany is about to come after us or correction hitler's going after austria hungry because i'm not in any sort of faction okay I ain't gotta do shit. Oh, this is why we're getting screwed. The damn Macedonians are here. All right, well, I'm sure we could put up a few camps and change that. Oh, good. It looks like we'll be able to change to fascism before Austria-Hungary. Oh, wait, no. False alarm. Shit. I thought I wasn't a complete failure. I'm gonna build a few things in Croatia to make sure we keep the beautiful Croatian ladies safe. Oh, my God. I just realized we're at 40% national unity. We're about to get demolished. All right, well, luckily, we can slowly start to change that, but... It's not going to help much. Oh, well, that can't be good. Hungary secures Romanian support. All right, good. ISP is coming to save his boy. Or at least just our nation's opinion of him went up. Because we definitely don't like this bastard very much right now. I mean, I guess this is kind of a good thing. Nationalist Spain won in Iberia. But that's totally not shocking at all. Finally. Okay. There we go. I have never seen this man before. He reminds me of Robert De Niro without the mole. And perfect. The dawn of... Daddy's fupa is here. I couldn't have imagined a sexier faction here in this region. I'm wondering if our name refers to Hitler. Hitler and his fupa. Yeah, I think that might be it. Because if you just look at it from the right angle, that's the vibe I'm getting. I've apparently just been notified I've only been building forts in one. 
of these three provinces. God damn it. Indian National Congress triumphs in provincial elections. Well, this is actually great news for us. I love you so much, Nuke Man. Luckily, Alex is here because I completely forgot about this one random province. Oh shit, they're all coming over here. Damn, okay, what's going on? Some sort of mass migration. The battle plans are ready, I think. It's about time we go after the Axis. I guess there's some concerns growing that uh, Stolen might really fuck us now. I didn't really think about that. Especially since Alex has all his troops on my border. Hey, but look at that. We got our national unity up to 80%. I actually have no idea how that happened because I wasn't paying attention to my focus tree. I was just somewhat randomly selecting shit. Because it's actually kind of hard not to join the Axis as Yugoslavia. It's like every decision wants you to pick either the Axis or the Allies to join. They clearly left out just the greatest faction of them all. Oh, well, the Soviets are starting to line the borders. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Okay, so here come all the call to arms, I guess. I don't know why I'm getting all these notifications though. We are right now only fighting Germany, so uh, that's not too bad, right? So while that's going on, I'm just gonna keep my troops right here perfectly protected because they they'll be fine. They don't need me. So basically, Papa can choose to end us at any point in this video. Please leave us alone, Daddy. I've been requested to actually do something in the war against Germany, so I guess I probably should. I don't know how much our 13 divisions are gonna help, but, you know, why not? They are being led by, it looks like, the heir to Hitler. Oh shit, the 4th International. That, that's not good, is it? I probably should have changed my conscription laws a long time ago, but whatever. So, um... Yeah, this is starting to not look very good. We're really gonna need Uncle Hitler to declare war on the Allies, because I think that's our only hope. Things will get easier for us as we lose this front line though, right? I mean, kind of. It's, it's less area we have to protect. Again, we just have to hold them off for long enough until France joins in. Oh yes, that is definitely not good at all. Okay. Poland could also be pretty useful though, even if they do capitulate in a couple months. As long as someone declares war on them and they're distracted by the Poles, that'd be nice. It's nearly 1939 and Japan is already doing work against China. I don't think this Eastern Front is gonna last very long, which means Japan will be powerful and they'll join the Axis. I'm trying my best right now to keep an eye on the focus trees of some of these big scary leaders. Uh, cause that's gonna be very important. We just desperately need steel right now, which, uh, luckily that's what we're gonna go for. We've got the Serbian steel coming. Alex is now about to go after Bulgaria, which will be a very nice addition to the FUPA. Son of a bitch, Mussolini grabbed Albania. Okay, that will make things messy. But luckily we now have Bulgaria on our side, so I'm sure that'll make things even. Not really, I'm just kidding. Oh god, yep. That's kind of what I was thinking. It's happening, we better be ready. And I think for the most part we are. I mean, I don't actually know that for a fact. I'm just being stupidly optimistic. Hey, look at that though. Finally got myself five research slots. Oh man, but we're finally pushing into Germany. This is kind of a miracle. It's only 1939 and it was just Hitler versus us for the last two years. I just noticed the fascist Austro-Hungarian Empire has a default portrait. Come on, Paradox. You guys can do better than this. Watch while finally things are starting to look good on the German front. Papa's gonna go after Alex. He still has those troops there, whereas we have nothing here. At this point, I'm just ready for Mussolini to join in. Like, I I'm ready to tear that ass up. ISP seems to have everything handled here in Nazi territory, so I I'm good to go. This would have been a lot easier if the Allies just decided to help out, but now they're gonna have to deal with Nazi fupas. For a split second there, I actually thought China joined us because of the similar colors. I think we could definitely use a few Asian leaders in our faction. Oh, well... It's kind of late, but damn, this kind of sucks. I do want to take a moment out here to let everyone know, I know it doesn't seem like it, but I'm doing most of the work right now. I believe I've pretty much carried our team, um, and I should be named the MVP of this video. You know, I feel like I kind of jinxed us. As soon as I started saying how nice it would be if uh, we had some Asian members in the faction, Japan joined the Axis. Oh damn, look at that! Alex has become best friends with Benito. Okay. Well, yep, there goes Eastern Poland. But even if Papa Stalin comes after us, we've got some Italian help now. Oh, this is great, because we can now just throw all of our units at Germany, because it's time to finally finish them. Wow, and just like that, it was like a year long where the borders didn't really move here. We finally get to eat the Nazis. Oh, look at that, Trotsky still holding strong, dodging them assassination attempts. Look at all the war score China Wait, has. Wait, why the fuck does China have more than wars? Drew? What the fuck? <laughs> How nice. did this happen? I really thought I was carrying the team, guys. Oh, yeah. Wow. 
What the a horrible piece deal. world we now live in. <laughs> a lot better than last time. Touch and go for the, the start there, though. Yeah. I was terrified. Um, mm. Right. Well, should we call that a win? I, I think, think so. We should definitely call that a win because the it... rest of the world is just way too easy at this point. What are we going to do for our next challenge? Oh. Jeez. Well, we already know. Yeah, we do. I'm not telling. But you can leave your comments and ask. Yeah. Everyone and blame Alex. Suggest. No, no, That's... no. I hate Thank what? you. Blame Alex. Blame no, 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 no. Every no, time no, no. we do this, it's all Romania's fault. Alex, we could have finished like this like a year ago if you tried harder. Right, fine, okay. I'll let you off this time, but next one we're losing. Okay. Sounds good to me. Right. Bye, everyone. Bye. And of course, big thanks to Johan, Elfie, Destiny Fucker 9000, Michael Ghazi, Jane Copeland, Blackstar 185, Wyone, Spatial Winter W, Kirby, and Furry Cruise for being my crack daddies. If you want to support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description down below.